Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Side Rental Vlogs and today's vlog will be very important for everyone because today I'm going to talk about the most important, most common complication in dental surgery or dental extractions. Yes, today I'm going to talk about dry socket, how to basically treat it, how you can recognize the case of dry socket, what are the chief complaint, what is the patient is suffering from dry socket, how does it happen? What are the mistakes we do while a patient is having pain and when a patient comes with a dry socket in the mouth? So first of all, dry socket basically is drying of the socket or otherwise known as alveolar osteitis. So what happens in that? So when we do a traumatic extraction, most commonly in third molars or while removing of the wisdom tooth. So we remove the tooth, you are very happy, you go home and you counted your money, put it in your pocket. And uh, after three days, you will get a call from the patient that, sir, I'm having severe pain in the tooth you have extracted. May ha maybe like you have left some root inside there or there is some infection or the nerve is getting hit. And again, you get tense to recall the patient. You give the medications to the patient, Augmentin, Xerodol, all these things you give. Patient is still not relieved of the pain. Usually starts after three to five days of the tooth extraction then you should keep in mind the patient may be suffering from dry socket that is the above clot which is there in the extracted socket or extracted area has washed away or dissolved due to many reasons uske bahut reason ho sakte hain to socket is dry and the underlying bones and nerves are exposed so so much of pain will be there plus the patient when he will be eating food that will be accumulated inside the socket and patient will have pain because of the accumulation of many bacteria which are present in the oral cavity and in the food also. So what are the symptoms basically we will talk about the symptoms. So first of all patient will be having severe pain starting after three days of the extraction along with that patient will be having radiating pain in the area of the tooth where it was removed and as well as in the ears and it can sometimes go up to the face. So dry socket is like a dreaded thing for the dentist. So how do we treat it? And how does, what are the factors which are responsible for the dry socket? Suppose after extraction of the tooth, we don't compress the socket with our fingers. So after extraction, na, you have to compress the socket very nicely. Socket hota hai, usko se dabao, taki pura socket band ho jai. And we have many things available in the market like alveolar gel, that uh, Septurant company ka alveolar gel, jiska maine pehle video banana tha. Woh alveolar gel dal doge, toh kabhi aisa koi complication complication nahi aayega. So this is the first thing we can do. Second, <coughs> when the patient comes, there will be like a foul smell coming out of the uh, mouth because of the accumulation of food. And you can see a yellow pseudomembranous slough over the extracted area. Like there will be food debris and bacterial growth and candidal hyphae all there. So, what can we do in How do we treat it? And what are the predisposing factors? So, next patient, uh, after you extracted the tooth, you have to instruct the patient to follow some home remedies. Like, if patient should not spit after extraction. He should, whatever saliva is coming, he or she should swallow. First thing. Second thing what patient should do, patient should always take water in a glass or from a cup. You should never sip from a straw. So that is the main thing. Many people are having extraction problems. And third thing, many people are having a habit of putting their finger and putting the tongue in the extracting socket and doing like this, sucking activity all the time inside the mouth. So that should be stopped. You have to particularly instruct patients, right, to stop these kind of things. So once the the blood clot is there, which is present inside the socket, it's responsible for secondary wound healing, secondary healing. So if the blood clot gets dissolved or dissoluted, the underlying bones and nerves are exposed. So the patient is having severe pain. So patient comes to you, what you do is, when the patient comes to you, you irrigate the socket nicely, promote some bleeding inside the socket after giving local anesthesia remember because the dry socket is very painful thing so you irrigate the socket with saline uh, you can use a little bit you can use the periosteal elevator and you can just induce some you can do some slight curettage and 
induce slight bleeding compress the socket again properly and make a mixture mixture kis cheez ka banayenge zinc oxide powder eugenol and little bit of cotton you make it and make it like a small dough or small roll like thing insert inside the socket believe me guys it works like wonder never in my life i have encountered any patient with dry socket who doesn't like uh, to whom i am not given any kind of uh, uh, medicines without medicines if you give this pack inside the patient mouth and reassure the patient that it will be all right so it is a matter just of one or two days immediately after placing the thing inside the socket the patient will have obtundent effect on the area and he won't be having any kind of pain after that so try this at your clinic if any patient comes to you you can do this and once the healing starts the cotton will automatically come out or you can patient you can recall the patient after 10 days and remove it yourself along with that if you want you can give some higher pain killers like ultraset it contains tramadol and you can give ketrol or you can even give a diclofenac injection to the patient for the time being in order to give immediate relief to yahi tha aaj ka video and i was getting many requests to make videos in english but as you know maximum indian population knows hindi so from now on i'll make some videos in hindi some in english to little bit you can adjust or if you have not followed me on instagram please do follow me and tell me your queries in instagram sai dental vlogs till then have a very good day and enjoy the quarantine thank you